The southeastern American kestrel is the smallest falcon found in the United States, with a wingspan of no more than 24 inches. It is non-migratory and a year-round resident of Florida. I was excited to recently see a pair around the backyard after an absence of many years. The birds in this video were taken from about 100 yards away and 40 feet up in the top of a pine tree with the Canon SX70HS. They look like doves with the unaided eye from a distance like this, but their perching behavior gives them away as a tiny little falcon. This species of kestrel has a brownish back area with black flecking, a white belly with males having less dark speckles on it, and black marks extending from the eyes downward. The colors of the wings differ by gender as males have bluish gray wings while females have brown wings. They have a high-pitched call during flight which sounds like clee 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 or killy killy killy. Kestrels nest in cavities that they do not excavate. Instead, they depend on woodpeckers and natural processes to create holes in trees. Kestrels nest predominantly in dead but standing longleaf pine trees called snags, usually in the abandoned cavities of pileated woodpeckers. They will also use nest boxes about the same size as screech owls, and years ago a pair of kestrels tried to take over a screech owl nest box in the backyard without success. I think I'll try and put up a special nest box for them this winter on a pole about 20 feet high, away from the owl and woodpecker nest boxes, and see if I can attract them. The southeastern American kestrel's habitat in Florida includes open woodlands, sand hills, and fire-maintained savanna pine habitats. However, they will also use alternative habitats which include pastures and open fields located in residential areas as more habitat is lost. Kestrels generally hunt during the day. The American kestrel will use a perch to locate and observe its prey, then fly in and catch the prey with its feet. Kestrels often perch on telephone wires at the edge of a field or other open area, or on treetops as in this case. From this vantage point they wait for insects, especially grasshoppers and dragonflies, and lizards. They will also eat spiders and frogs. Kestrels have the ability to hover by rapidly flapping their wings in place while hunting. Males search for places suitable for a nest. They will show the female a variety of options including cavities in a tree, such as an old woodpecker hole, crevices in buildings, or human-provided nesting boxes. The female will choose the nest and lay four to five eggs. Both parents incubate the eggs for up to a month. The male provides most of the food until the young's fledge when they are about a month old. Kestrels nest between mid-March and early June. Eggs are white and reddish brown with dark speckles. Incubation takes one month and the chicks require another 30 days before they are capable of leaving the nest. Kestrels are short-lived birds. For those surviving the first winter, lifespan averages between 2.3 and 2.8 years. The southeastern American kestrel has undergone a marked population decline and a contraction in its range in recent decades. Once widely distributed throughout seven southeastern states, the kestrel occurs today primarily in Florida, the coastal plain of South Carolina, and the Mississippi Gulf Coast. It is patchily distributed elsewhere in small fragmented populations. The main threat to southeastern kestrel is the loss of nesting and feeding habitat. These habitats are destroyed during the development of new residential areas and farmlands, removal of trees and agricultural fields, and the alteration of fire-maintained pine habitats by suppressing fire. Kestrels are also vulnerable to pollution such as PCBs, DDT, and heavy metals, and other potential threats include increased predation, collisions with vehicles, and the West Nile virus and avian flu. The southeastern kestrel is protected by the U.S. Migratory Bird Treaty Act and is a state-designated threatened species by Florida's Endangered and Threatened Species Rule.